And thank you for joining us out here this afternoon for this exciting announcement. Um, before we get started, I did want to recognize uh, Minister the Honorable Zane De Silva, the Minister of Tourism and Transport here in Bermuda. Uh, there's a couple of members of the Bermuda Hotel Association board here as well. Thank you for joining us. Uh, members of the media, uh, our guests from the PGA Tour, and of course, uh, Greg Mayberry and the team based here at Port Royal. Thank you for being with us today. We're gathered here today for some exciting news. We're here to announce that the PGA Tour will bring its first official annual event to Bermuda, adding our island to the 2019-2020 schedule this October. The Bermuda Championship will take place out here at Port Royal, October 31st to November 3rd, 2019, the same week as the World Golf Championship uh, HSBC Champions in China. Uh, the Bermuda Tourism Authority is thrilled to have secured this pinnacle golf event for the island, uh, for our tourism industry and for our community. Uh, the Tourism Authority has committed to be the title sponsor of this event for a five-year period from now through 2023. We have had our, our sights set uh, on the PGA Tour uh, for several reasons. Uh, the first is the significant economic benefit that this event will generate for Bermuda's economy, as well as the worldwide exposure that it brings with an audience that is perfectly aligned to our visitor targets. To give you a couple of examples, uh, PGA Tour audiences are 82% more likely than average to spend $6,000 a year or more uh, on international travel, making it very likely that a PGA Tour audience can afford to travel and spend in Bermuda. The Tour audiences are also 72% more likely than average to influence where others travel, so there will be an amplification event effect of having this event out here. Finally, to those that, that question whether or not golf is the right focus going forward, the tourist television audience grew 27% in 2018 and is more engaged than most other audiences than we've seen. Um, it is my pleasure to now introduce uh, Ty Vota from the uh, PGA Tour, who will share his thoughts on our championship. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. It's uh, on behalf of the PGA Tour, it is uh, an honor and a, and a real pleasure to be here this afternoon for this exciting announcement. Uh, and it's a privilege to represent uh, the PGA Tour for this very special day. Uh, although, given the weather, I think many of us would rather be golfing, perhaps, than, uh, than, than here. But uh, we can't uh, begin without uh, bringing together uh, or mentioning a number of people who were responsible for uh, us being here today. Uh, we have a number of people uh, to thank uh, for their involvement and their devout support for the Bermuda Championship. Certainly first, uh, the Honorable Zane De Silva, Minister of uh, Tourism and Transport. Kevin, Dallas Chief Executive Officer and Victoria Isley, Chief Sales and Marketing Office Bermuda Tourism Authority. And of course, General Manager of Port Royal Golf Course, Greg Mayberry. Thank you very much, all of you. As, as Kevin mentioned, there are so many parallels as to why uh, the PGA Tour, a PGA Tour event in Bermuda is a perfect match for both our organization and for Bermuda Tourism Authority and, and uh, the island of Bermuda. For the tour, we're thrilled because we can add another FedEx Cup event to our 2019-2020 uh, schedule. Uh, which includes enhanced playing opportunities for 120 members of the PGA Tour, competing for a purse of $3 million, with 300 FedEx Cup points of, on, on offer uh, being awarded to the champion. Our players will most certainly embrace uh, this opportunity, playing a world-class golf course in Port Royal, located in one of the world's greatest travel destinations. Many, I would expect, will bring their families, along to enjoy uh, everything the island has to offer, fantastic weather, beaches, and unmatched hospitality. The Bermuda Championship further expands the tour's international reach, as we are truly a global tour with now 90 members from 26 different countries competing week in and week out on the PGA Tour. This expansion helps grow the game, promotes our sport, and it creates a much more diverse fan base than we've had ever before. And finally, the tour and its tournaments make a significant charitable impact in the communities in which we play. Last year, we uh, gave over $190 million to 3,000 charities, 
we expect to make a lasting impact here in Bermuda as well as part of this event. For the Bermuda, for, for Bermuda and the Bermuda Tourism Authority, this event is a great fit for a number of reasons, some of which Kevin touched upon. First, the Bermuda Championship will, will have significant tourism exposure through the Golf Channel telecast. Uh, we are blessed to have Golf or PGA Tour events televised across 225 countries and territories around the world for a, a worldwide audience of over a billion households. Uh, essentially, a telecast on the Golf Channel is a two-hour commercial showcasing everything Bermuda has to offer as a backdrop to the, com to the competition. And second, the Bermuda Championship will add to the portfolio of events on the island to help provide a significant economic impact for the island and the people that live here through spending on hotels, restaurants, recreation, shopping, and tournament vendors. Again, it's a pleasure to be here with you today. It's an honor to be able to make this, to participate in this announcement. And, and for the opportunity to represent the PGA Tour today, we're excited about returning here in late October for the inaugural Bermuda Championship. Well, Minister, uh, good news, and, and one I think Bermuda will be very happy with the fact that um, it's not the Grand Slam just for golfers, it's, it's actually going to be a full field. It's, a, it's an absolutely full field, Earl. Um, completely different than the Grand Slam. Uh, Grand Slam, as you know, uh, consisted of four players, which were usually the major champion winners for the year. Um, whereas this is, will be a full field, I think it'd be maybe around 120 players. Um, it's, it's really a, a, you know, it's a fantastic, phenomenal thing for us to be able to pull this off. And uh, I, I'm sure that uh, all Bermudians will embrace it for what it is. It's a full PGA Tour event. Uh, it's not a seniors event, not to take anything from, from a seniors event or a web. Doc. This is a full senior tour event, which is huge for Bermuda. It's absolutely huge. The other big thing is that we've secured it for five years, and, and that will make a lot of people more comfortable in the fact that we're going to spend a lot of money for a long period of time. Well, yes, the, the economic benefit to Bermuda is going to be fantastic. Um, and I think that once people experience Bermuda's beauty, how close we are to the United States, and experience our people. Uh, as you know, Earl, we have we have the friendliest people in the world. So I think once folks bring their families here and they start to experience it, uh, you'll find that they come outside of the PGA Tour to visit us again. How long has something like this been in the works? Because I know the last time you guys were government, um, we kind of got away from the Grand Slam sort of thing, but I knew you was working behind the scenes at times yes. to sort of land this here. So has it been in the works that long? Well, it has, Earl, and I'll tell you what, to be honest, um, Pat Horgan III, who's been coming to Bermuda for about 30-odd years, uh, I, got, I met Pat playing in Bermuda Open years ago, and it's been a conversation that he and I had had for decades. And uh, you will know, because I know you pressed me on it some time back, that we were, we were getting close to, you know, actually holding a senior uh, a PGA Tour event. And then uh, the opportunity presented itself for us to have conversations with the PGA Tour. So, um, yeah, it's been, it's been a long road. But this is huge. And, you know, I'd stick my neck out and say it's bigger than the America's Cup. Uh, you know, the America's Cup was a, was a big event. It was great for Bermuda in terms of the exposure. But this, is, this, is, this, is, um, uh, this tournament uh, will be here for five years, uh, which is what we want. We want people to return to Bermuda. We want people to stay in our hotels, spend money in our restaurants, and experience our people. So it'll be good.